Hello everyone and uh, welcome to ARC Automation Studio. This is Indabri Shokar, analyst at ARC Advisory Group. And today we are going to discuss the industrial Ethernet switches market. And to discuss the topic with us today, we have Chantel Polsonetti, Vice President at ARC Advisory Group, and also the lead author of the recently published study on industrial Ethernet switches. So Chantel, uh, to start off, can you please share a little bit about yourself and your experience in the industrial automation as well as industrial network market? And also, if you could share um, a quick overview of industrial Ethernet switches and uh, tell us about some of the more common applications for industrial Ethernet switches that would help the audience better understand the topic. I've been following the industrial network infrastructure market for uh, several decades now. And this industrial Ethernet switch component has been really a franchise topic for ARC for a number of years. This represents an update to our prior primary research on this topic, which is now extended, of course, to include the industrial IoT edge as a whole. Now, industrial Ethernet switches in particular are used to transmit data between uh, devices on industrial Ethernet wireline networks via pack packet switching technology. They essentially communicate between devices supporting the same network protocols, whereas gateways are, are often used to communicate between devices supporting different protocols. In the uh, tiering of the industrial IoT edge, industrial Ethernet switches are typically de uh, deployed at the thin edge or connectivity layer. Industrial Ethernet switches are distinguished from their commercial brethren by the characteristics such as industrial form factors, uh, operating temps, passive cooling, etc. These devices are typically used in either industrial automation or infrastructure applications. In industrial automation, we find them in logic, motion, process control, data acquisition, really all uh, networked uh, installations. And in infrastructure systems, we find them in electric power, T&D, transportation like rail, water and waste, and other types of uh, applications. Thank you, Shante. Uh, moving on to the next question. What are the underlying drivers that have been critical to the growth in this market? Well, industrial Ethernet switches in general have over time benefited from the consolidation of industrial network architectures around Ethernet wireline networks. In the current market, it's really the connectivity driven uh, digital transformation strategies, Industry 4.0, Industrial IoT, that are uh, really pushing uh, requirements for connectivity from both new installations and legacy installed base uh, installations that are driving growth in this segment. We also see overall a heightened emphasis on automated and even autonomous processes. Certainly, we're pursuing lower costs and higher reliability through labor reductions and autonomous operations through automated uh, installations. And certainly, uh, we're adding incremental sensors and intelligence in areas like temperature, vibration, and other variables that we can use as inputs to fine tune uh, both operations and maintenance applications. Industrial Ethernet switches also uh, truly benefit from the focus on the industrial IoT edge as the industrial IoT vision has matured. And this tearing into the thin edge versus the thick edge as depicted in the graphic on the right, industrial Ethernet switches reside firmly on the thin edge at the connectivity layer. And as noted previously, these connectivity requirements are certainly increasing. Also, Ethernet technology itself is currently undergoing tremendous uh, improvement uh, and evolution in areas such as like the prospect for a standard real-time Ethernet in 802.3 TSN, which will eliminate the need for proprietary implementations. Continued uh, escalation in speed and bandwidth with gigabit Ethernet and beyond, uh, very popular, particularly in the infrastructure applications mentioned earlier. Also higher wattage uh, PoE standards like the uh, uh, 802.3 BT standard that was released in uh, 2018 and other areas. Also, the migration uh, to manage switches is very evident in the market. Certainly, you need a managed switch in order to have a TSN installation. But managed switches also um, are indicative of that ITOT convergence 
where uh, IT organizations in particular are pursuing standard uh, policies in areas like manageability, visibility, and security. Now let's talk about trends, uh, Chantel. So what trends in the market do you think will have the greatest impact on shaping strategic initiatives for suppliers? Given the dynamic nature of uh, the industrial Ethernet switch market, as well as the overall network infrastructure tier in the age of industrial IoT, suppliers have numerous opportunities for where to direct their product development and strategic initiative. So for example, the uh, technology innovations that I mentioned before, suppliers are gonna have to develop new products that conform to the IEEE 802.3 TSN standard as it becomes available, uh, continuing improvement in speed and bandwidth as it relates to gigabit ethernet and beyond uh, capabilities. Also power over ethernet or POE with the new uh, 802.3 BT 90 watt uh, standard just released in 2018. There's also the requirement if you want to go after specific uh, industries like, say, for rail, EN50155 certification for electric power T&D, the IEC 61850-3, et cetera. In the age of the industrial IoT and Industry 4.0 and reliance on cloud-based enterprise applications, switch suppliers also have to decide how they want to meet edge-to-cloud integration requirements for the data that their switches uh, generate. So we're looking at both uh, IT and automation protocol support, which, uh, which uh, enterprise cloud provider ecosystems to participate, as well as which industrial consortium and standardization activities, things ranging from test beds to interoperability activities. You also have to re respond to the ongoing tiering at the industrial IoT edge and sort of pick some spots along the broadening functional spectrum that you want to meet um, the requirements of. Suppliers need to recognize this ongoing tiering of edge functionality, whether it ranges from switch capabilities being embedded in endpoint devices to whether or not you want to add compute store capabilities to your connectivity oriented switches or rely on a thick edge device, you know, like a fog node or, um, or gateway to perform that function. Industrial Ethernet switch suppliers already recognize the need to appeal to both IT and OT customers with, with IT customers looking to implement uh, consistent policies in areas uh, such as configuration, management, security, and others. So switch suppliers need to appeal to requirements of both customers uh, in areas such as feature sets and capability. And finally, but certainly not the least important, is the need to address customer, uh, customer security concerns. Uh, we obviously advocate defense in depth and the zero trust emphasis on cybersecurity right now. But in general, we recommend that uh, you look at ARC's dedicated cybersecurity practice offerings on the ARC web website. Thank you, Chantel, for your time today and for uh, sharing your insights with us on industry Ethernet switches. So this concludes our discussion on the topic today. We hope this discussion was helpful. And we encourage audience members, if they have any question on Ethernet switches or network-related topic, they are welcome to contact our lead on the subject, Chantel, directly. Thank you, everyone, for your time today, and have a great day.